I'm the one talking about midgets and relationships. Because you cannot be the midget in a fucking sack. <laughs> That's the sack, not a sack. It's very easy to be midget in a sack. Hit the little fucker with a golf club or something. <laughs> Isn't that Tony Belfast at the Empire Comedy Club? And as soon as I finished speaking, my eyes were drawn to this little red haired, red faced midget woman in the front row. And I thought, okay, that's uncomfortable. I'll move on. She starts going, boo, boo, boo. And I thought, I have to address this. I can't have an angry midget booing me the whole way fucking through. So I turned and I said, do you have a fucking problem? She goes, yes, I do have a fucking problem. I don't like the fact we're making fun of people with disabilities. And 400 people simultaneously went, and then we're on stage going, I am fucked. If I laugh and come and get this, I am fucking screwed. I didn't know what to do, I just started stringing words together. I was like, I didn't mean to call it a thing, it's a comedy club. There's nothing worse than the men that take themselves too seriously. <laughs> and a few people chuckled, but she roared, but I swear to God, this is the loudest roar I've ever heard a human being take. But it was coming from a midget. The irony was not lost on me. She goes, No! You know what you are? You're my most hated type of person. I meet people like you every day of my fucking life. You're an asshole. You're a bastard. You're a smallest. That's what she says. And the whole room went, Ooh. I don't know why the words came out of my mouth, but immediately I just looked around and went, sorry, love, from where I'm standing. You're the fucking smallest. <laughs> And the whole room went wah, and she hopped it down off her stool and left. <laughs> she went and left, she went and half went down the room and disappeared under the tables, I don't know. But I was telling that exact same story in some denims just before Christmas, before I played with you guys. I was telling that story, and uh, a girl gets up at the table, front table, very front table, and goes, you're a fucking asshole, and walks off. And I says, uh, you weren't there, but I says, what the hell was that about? The girl at her table goes, her sister was a little person, she died last week. And the whole room took a sharp intake of breath. Candles and tables were going out, they were starting fucking oxygen. She's off a fire, mate. Uh, I didn't know, I didn't know. What was her name? The guy goes, Bernadette. And I don't know why I did this, but immediately I just want everybody to raise your glasses to Bernadette. She looked a short guys. <laughs> and when both tables get up and started walking off, and I was like, why are you lost? It wasn't a huge loss. Yeah. I, I mean, personally, I can't believe I stood to that level. Every normal human being can get over that very easily. <laughs> and that's all I'm doing for us. <laughs>